Hello, beautiful being. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Emily, also known as Emily the Mystic. And in today's video, we're talking about a really fun, really cool topic that I think you are really going to enjoy. And that is we're talking about mermaids today. So in today's video, I am actually going to be channeling a mermaid group called the Mintuckin Mermaids, and they're going to be sharing some information with you about who they are and also about Earth mermaids so that you can learn about the cosmic galactic mermaids as well as the mermaids that are present here on Earth. So if you watch my fairy video, you will know that I mentioned to just let go of any preconceived notions or ideas of who the mermaids are and what they represent. Of course, I have to share that, yes, mermaids are real. They are real, they do exist. And of course, all of this information is channeled. I am a channeler for a living. And so what I wanted to do for this video was to set the intention to call in the Mintuckin mermaids, to bring them through, to ask them some questions, and to see what they had to say so that I could share that information from my perspective as a channeler versus, of course, just spitting out, you know, information that exists out there on the internet. So this is coming from me as a channeler. So take what resonates with you, leave what doesn't. Maybe the information is here and here is similar to what you've learned before, and maybe it's totally different. So, of course, it's all just inf interesting information and take on what is your truth and leave what isn't. But I just wanted to share that disclaimer that yes, all this information has been channeled. And so with that in mind, just like you, there are different types of, you know, there are different types of animals, different types of living creatures. There are also different types of mermaids and different mermaid groups. So originally when I was planning to create this video, because the mermaid energy at this time when I'm filming it is coming through really strong, I was planning to talk about all the different types of mermaid groups, but today I felt called to really specifically focus on the Mintakan mermaids who I called in to channel for this video. And I'll talk about some of the other mermaids as well and share why that's a separate topic for a different time. But again, I was specifically connecting with the Mintakan mermaids. So before we get into it, just to share a little bit of background about who the Mintakans are, so the Mintuckins are one of the oldest originating star groups here on Earth. If this information is completely new to you, make sure you go back and watch my videos about starseed origins and cosmic origins because they're going to help you to understand this topic a lot more. But there are different types of cosmic galactic beings that exist out there in the universe. We live in a multi-dimensional universe. And so these beings live in other dimensions spaces and times, okay? Um, so there, they can come through to me multidimensionally, and that is how I'm able to connect to them and use my intuitive psychic gifts to channel them and to bring through the information that wants to come through. So Mintaka is a star within the Orion constellation. And like I said, it is one of the oldest star systems, and therefore it is one of the oldest incarnating groups here on Earth. And so I'm going to share their perspective of why the Mintuckins chose to start incarnating here, how they describe themselves so you can get to know them better, and how they describe their planet. So I asked the Mintuckins, like, describe for me what your planet is like, and describe to me what, what the star is like, what the energy there is like, the physical features and all of that good stuff. So they showed me this very clear visual of this beautiful paradise <laughs> where all of the rocks, all of the sand is like a pink color, pinky, corally, like this beautiful, shining, um, warm color. And the ocean is sparkling. It is like the water is very clear. It is very translucent. You can see through it. Um, and there are different kind of shades of soft blues and turquoises. But the water in general is very clear. Um, and that's the best way that I can describe it. But when I'm seeing this visual, it's almost like everything is sparkling. Like the sun is, I guess it wouldn't technically be the sun, but the energy that's coming through is so bright. It's so, it's so cheerful. It's so joyful. And so the way that they described their their planet 
their, I guess their star, where they're from, is that it's a very joyful place to be. It's a very cheerful place to be. And so I asked them, what can, you know, what can you share with me for us to get to know you better? And they describe themselves as being very beautiful, shiny, loving, bright, cheerful, and playful beings. They said, we love to laugh. We live a life of lightness and a life of joy. So they, and again, these are mermaid beings. So for my understanding, and yes, they're confirming this for me now as well, that the the beings who existed in Mintaka were all mermaid beings. And they had the ability, or have, I should say, or still exist, they had the ability to both swim as well as to move around in these sandy sort of rock formations that I'm seeing in my mind's eye. So not only are they able to swim through the water, but they're also able to breathe. And maybe that's not oxygen, maybe that's another type of gas, but they're also able to breathe and be out of the water as well, which is really interesting. Um, But they carry this frequency that's very different than humans. So they carry this frequency of lightness, of joy, of childlike innocence. Um, I don't want to say naivety. That's not the right word. It's, It's this light type of energy. And so I asked them why they chose to come to Earth. And they said that they chose to come here to originally incarnate as souls on this planet to bring lightness to the planet because Earth is a very densely energetic place. The density here is heavy. It's intense. Um, And they decided to come here to play a special role in bringing light, love, and joy to such, such a dark place and to assist the collective, to assist humanity in our vibrational Raise rising and uh, and um this uplift in consciousness that we are going through as a planet, especially during these times. So they started incarnating way back when Earth, you know, the Earth, the project planet, if you want to call it, started to be colonized by all of these different groups in order to begin this process of of the Earth of the Earth Project, basically. Um, And the Mintuckens were part of that group. So if you are a Mintuckan starseed, meaning your origination point was in Mintucka, you may very much resonate with these beings. So if you are drawn to this video, if you feel like this information is like really stirring something within you, you feel it in your body, you really feel like it resonates with you, you may be originally from Mintucka yourself. You may also have incarnated there. So side note, have to mention that we don't all have one specific place that we originated in the galaxy. We have more than one. We've incarnated in multiple different star systems, different spaces and times. So you may not, this may not be your place of origination. Maybe you're an even more ancient star seed. Maybe you're a blue printer um, or from somewhere that is even older than Mintaka. But Regardless, you probably have spent some time, some incarnations there as well. So again, just take, you know, feel this information in your body. And if it really resonates with you, it's definitely for you. And you definitely have that Mintuckin connection. Regardless, they want to help us. So even the Mintuckin being, so I'm channeling beings in their Mintuckin form. So I'm not channeling, you know, beings that have incarnated here on Earth in physical form. These are beings that live in Mintaka, and that's who's coming through for the the purpose of this video. They want to assist us as being guides, um, especially with uplifting, raising our vibrations, raising our energy frequency, and encouraging us to live a more joyful, more light-filled life. They really want us to follow the lightness and to follow what lights us up to follow what brings us joy and to follow what our what brings our soul joy. Because as we do that, our vibration increases and we increase the vibration of humanity as a whole, which is so cool. 
Okay, so, and I asked them the question, are you assisting humans as guides? And they said, most, yes, they are, but most specifically, they are assisting humans who have Mintaken origination, Mintaken origination or incarnation history. And they were like, you, Emily, have Mintaken incarnation history. So this information really, really resonates with me. Um, okay, so... They wanted to share how they can help us and how you can call on them to help you in your daily life. So they wanted to share that they are very playful. They love to play. They love to, I don't want to say connect with their inner child. They're just playful in general. They're a playful species. So they want to help you. So they said to call on them. So call on the Mintuckin Mermaids on a day when you need to smile. <laughs> and you should be smiling every day, but especially on those days when you're having a really tough time, when you're going through something really challenging, challenging circumstances, they want you to call on them to help you to feel cheerful when you are otherwise feeling like you are at a low point. Um, they also said that they want to call, they want you to call on them to bring out the sunshine on a rainy day, physically and metaphorically. I mean, as I'm filming this video, when I woke up this morning, it was very overcast and the sun is like coming through really strongly through my window. So they're definitely assisting in that as well. So they can help you with all of these different things. Um, they also said to pay attention to that friend that you go to when you're having a difficult day. Maybe you have a friend or a family member who always knows how to cheer you up, to make you smile, to make you laugh. Um, that person, oh my gosh, it's 1.11 p.m. my time. <laughs> that person is, the Mintakins are working through them to help you to feel like you are in a better place and, and to raise your vibration and to, to help get you out of that low point when you may be feeling like things are challenging. So they want to help you with all of this. The key words here with the Mintuckin mermaids are lightness, childlike energy, playful, fun, and lightheartedness. So that may be you, that may be you as a soul, that may describe you. Um, and so therefore, definitely pay attention to this information because it may be for you. I also asked them if if we have had incarnations in Mintaka, how does that affect our perception of water? Because some of us love water and some of us may have some fear or some aversions to water. And they told me that our aversions to water most likely are coming from our earthly incarnation. So if you have a fear of water, but you still resonate with this information, it's because you may have had a passing or some other traumatic event in another lifetime that where water, you were either drowned or you had... You were on a ship and something bad happened or you had some negative experience with water in general they are saying that it is coming from your experience here on earth so i thought that was interesting but if you love water if you love swimming you love connecting with the water maybe you've loved mermaids since you were a child all of this information is for you <laughs> you definitely have some form of a connection to mintaka and the mintaka and mermaids and so next i wanted to ask them like are there mermaids here on earth are there physical mermaids here on planet Earth? And they said yes. And I said, okay, so are they, are they, um, did they originate, their souls originate in Mintaka? And they said, no, they are Earth mermaids. So meaning their souls have incarnated here. Um, and that they are a, partic a particular species unique to Earth. So they have different physical features and different, different ways of, of, of uh, their body movements. And also different, you know, different body patterns, I guess is the way to put it. So for example, the Mintakins probably breathe a different gas than we do here on Earth breathing oxygen. Um, but... But yeah, so that's sort of the information there. So physically, they're showing me that earth mermaids are a little bit more substantial. So they're they're stronger, they're a little bit hardier. And the Mintuckin mermaids are a little bit more um they're they're a little bit more what's the word? I don't want to use the word slender because it's not the word. They're just a little more lithe like. They're a little bit um more they flit around a little bit 
faster. <laughs> they're just, they have, they're not as hardy as earth mermaids are, which is interesting. That's just coming through live in this moment. And they said that the reason why we don't really physically see them on earth is because they are very mysterious, very private beings. And that they always avoid capture and detection like as a fault like they do not want their homes their their unique ecosystem to be hurt or harmed or destroyed because it's really important to them of course and so they are going to avoid detection at all costs um, they said that they live in areas of water bodies of water that are un otherwise uninhabited. So that may be oceans or bodies of water that, or bodies of water on an island or off of an isle that are not really frequented by humans. So they really inhabit very private places. Um, private bodies of water where no one else is really living, which is really interesting. And they said that they will only, these earth mermaids will only allow you to see them if you want to see them. <laughs> I mean, if they want you to see them. And they said, which is somewhat unlikely. Um, I'm not, the, uh, the uh, relationship between the Mintuckin mermaids and the Earth mermaids is interesting. It's, it's sort of like, it's just kind of like, okay, we're different. We're different species. We're different beings, which, I, which is kind of wild. Um, and that Earth mermaids really, really like shiny things. So I asked them, I said, like, a common myth is that mermaids like shiny objects and necklaces. And so they may be attracted to you if you're in the water and have, are wearing a shiny thing. And they said, yes, that is true. That especially will happen to some of the younger mermaids who haven't really been trained by the rest of the tribe or the group to know what to do when that happens. They said they also like long hair. So, <laughs> so if, they, if you're in a body of water where mermaids exist, they see your long hair, your shiny jewelry, they may be attracted to you. Um, and they may, you may catch a glimpse of them physically in person. But likely that mermaid who is attracted to your long hair and your shiny jewelry, it is very likely that they are an adolescent, a younger childlike mermaid that hasn't really been trained to stay away from human beings. So that's kind of interesting. Um, I also asked them some of the common myths are that sailors will be tricked by sirens and by mermaids. Um, and I asked them about that and they said that that is true and that they do this, they trick sailors to keep them out of the waters where they live. So if they feel like their territory is being infringed upon by some sailing group, or especially back in history, they will, they will do the siren thing to distract them and use their, you know, their magical powers and their magical energy to direct those sailors away from their territory, their body of water. Again, they're very private beings. So very interesting, um, but very cool also. So that is my overview of the Mintuckin mermaids. Again, remember, they're very cheerful, playful beings. They want to work with you in not just they don't want to work with you they want to encourage you to have fun to play more to follow what lights you up and to embody that childlike joy so call them in to assist you with that and finally i will say that there are other mermaid groups so for example there are also mermaids from the star system and that from the specific star sirius b so from the sirius star system but that's not who i was talking about during this video this video is only about the mintakan mermaids and in a future video i will bring through the sirius mermaids and we'll see or see what they have to say but i hope you enjoyed this video make sure you give this video a thumbs up and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more fun content just like this. And let me know in the comments below if this video resonated with you, if you feel like you have a special connection to the Mintuckin mermaids or to mermaids in general, I would love to know. So let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video.